morning guys welcome to or back to the channel we are back in the shop it is another cold day you guys can see it is cold. you guys probably can't see anything but it is overcast and uh cold and just wet um it rained all night but we're back in the shop we're gonna do our best to keep in good spirits here and keep our toes and fingers warm what do we got jared we had the stuff Stand in the Bondo. The Bondo, so. The filler. It's the metal filler that we uh, put on yesterday. I'll show you the, the can of it here. Metal to metal reinforcement body filler for metal surfaces. I mean, it is metallic. Uh, Jer was saying he really liked it because it didn't run like the regular body filler. Um, but it does dry very hard we had a couple spots over here that we tried with the da on a 120 and that wasn't cutting it so i actually did a block with 80 grit and it does a pretty good job of flattening that out and we'll run over it with the 120 afterwards this is an area where i only did the da and yeah it's smooth but now the ridges kind of went away so we're going to definitely have to block that first this is with the 120 and this right here is just how it was after jared applied it yesterday so i think the plan is i'm going to be running through hitting everything with the the 80 block and then going over it again with the 120 on the da and jared you open up that can so i'm assuming you're going to spread some more of the filler yeah i'm going to hit all these edges all these little things these little areas right here anywhere anywhere that was visible was spot welts that needed to be ground down in difficult areas so we just had to get the we got a little low in some areas but it's just those things you don't it doesn't look bad right now because it's all kind of like silver but the second you spray this with the primer epoxy primer the paint clear coat you're gonna see everything so right, so it'll just have a ripple throughout it which is what we're trying to get away from you know up here again this is a spot we did hit with the, the 80 block and it did help a little bit and you know that's pretty much what it looked like before where it had a, a raised edge but yeah pretty much i think the the whole point of this is just get rid of that wave that happens when you um grind out the spot welds so i guess it's time to get at it yep all right This is taking forever. Turning out okay, and it's actually real good, but it is taking forever. This smoothed out real nice. That's all my handiwork right there. Jared got the other side going there. You having fun yet? Yep, finessing. The worst job for someone who's OCD. <laughs> right? <laughs> or, or it's a really good thing right yeah that's one of those things so when you're ocd you have two levels 100 percent perfection and effort <laughs> just straight effort that is there's very no between true. black <laughs> and white no gray <laughs> so that's what we run into all the time uh i was in here earlier some of this around this firewall edges again like we talked about earlier this is just to get rid of the the divots where we did spot welds and ground it out below the level of the panel so all right here yeah so next time for all you guys that are built putting one of these together um we're gonna be drilling these holes we're gonna mark this line right here this lip drill them out and then weld them from the back side so that is the million dollar tip of the week right here because it would have saved us so much time I mean, we would have had a burn mark back here. That's it compared to a... Yeah, but once you paint over the burn mark, it's yeah. gone. So there's no grinding back there. It's never visible. So million dollar tip of the week. Right. <laughs> We're back. Chris is, Chris is learning the GoPro. <laughs> it goes black, so he tries pushing the top to get it to reset, but it's the side button. Well, because the different cameras are different. <laughs> we have the time-lapse ones and that works. Yep. And then I grab this one, it does, <laughs> it just messes with me every time. So yeah, um, drilling the back side of this lip, welding from the back side, no welding, or sorry, no grinding, no bondo, none of this, no sanding. So 
If you guys are putting this towel together or doing one of these bodies, uh, mark this lip, drill your holes in the cow, and then weld it from the backside. So that's my tip of the week for you guys. Yeah, just pretty much just hide your welds, hide your tack welds in an area. If you can, if you can get to one side versus the other, that's pretty much what we tried to do as best as possible here with this firewall. <laughs> so instead of it being inside, it was going to be in here. But then we still did this because both sides are visible. But what Jared's saying right there, that's all covered by the dash. There'll be no, no way you'd be able to see that. And again, being OCD, this is never seen ever when the hood's on. Once the hood goes on, you never see this. <laughs> so that's just me being OCD, seeing these things before the hood goes on. It's huge though. So, I mean, my red Bronco, I seam sealed all this and I hated it. So, but yeah, that's, that's what we're And he's at. not kidding about being OCD. He's so OCD that I'm surprised he drove here today because it was raining. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. It was killing me. It was killing me. <laughs> Stressing the whole way. I'm like, gosh, I just got my truck clean. <laughs> Every puddle. <laughs> I tell the guys at the car wash, underneath the wheel wheel, wheel wheel. Wipe it, wipe it. <laughs> Why are you talking like that, Jared? I don't know. That's fine. I don't Yeah. Was that an impression of somebody? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we both stay quiet. <laughs> Our wheels are just spinning right now. <laughs> I don't know what we can say on this or not. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. A white, a white guy and a black guy. I guess we, can we say anything that has any sort of Probably racial Probably not. We couldn't even it? say that our ghetto roots history was ghetto without being racist. That guy wasn't even black though. He was just mad because he was white and ghetto. <laughs> I hope he's watching right now too. If you're watching this and you said that, go away. We don't like you here. That's true. So He's blocked anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get back to work. <laughs> No, we need to flip this thing. We're going to rotate it so we can hit some of the areas that are hard to reach right now. We'll be back. All right, guys. Hope everyone's been having a good week and enjoying some of our progress we've been going on here. I know it's pretty stale, but... There are a few people who have commented and said that they do enjoy seeing just the day-to-day -day process of getting the sucker done. This is the most boring, tedious stuff that I wish I never had to do. <laughs> What's so funny? He's an, he's an electrician, so you guys have to understand why he's saying that. Oh, we don't work hard. <laughs> we're, we're, it's definitely a brains over bronze. That's, that's what I signed up for. And uh, this is this stuff kind of kills me. It's so tedious. I like to see immediate. Like we put in lights, we turn the switch on. Like it's great. One day. Like, you guys should have heard him. You guys should have heard him today. Oh, last night my traps, my shoulders were all sore. I didn't know why. He's like, now I know why. He's like, your shoulders, your shoulders don't bother you. I'm like, no, I'm fine. I've been doing dirty work my entire life, so. Yeah. I think yeah. it's funny. So he's a landscaper. He's a real man. That's how he started. <laughs> He's been doing that since high, or he did that since high school until a few years back when he went on to bigger and better things. <laughs> Me, I've just been an electrician. We're lazy. We're lazy. We don't work hard. I mean, I, I think the next laziest is plumbers. <laughs> and that's only because they're fat. <laughs> Gosh. You can cut that. Those girls and plumbers are going to be coming after you. I guess so. I really don't hate anybody. I just think it's funny. Stereotypes are there for a reason. But, yep, this is what we got going on. It all turned out really well. You can see where there's the low spots, but you're gonna have to trust me here since you can't touch it, but it is perfectly smooth. So once it's painted and everything else, you're gonna wonder how it was even attached. Um, we, we just use some, you know, epoxy <laughs> to glue it all together. I'm kidding, we welded it, and that's why we did this process right here, just to get rid of the low spots from the welds. So we kind of have our plan set for what we're gonna do for, um, next week getting a couple of the whatever um the next next phases we're going to be doing you know obviously we need to do still the seam sealer the epoxy we still need to prep the, all the other panels that were removed you guys will see all that later but just want to let you guys know hope you guys are having a good week everyone's having a good time staying safe out there and uh we will be seeing you soon see you guys